Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moshix Membrane channel. This is Moshix. Uh, some of the requests I've had over the last couple of days, again by email and, and sometimes by comments below the videos, were related to um, the IMON monitor that, um, that I was showing in some of my previous uh, videos. Um, uh, we have it installed in TK4 uh, by default and in fact it's in the top menu when you log in. Um, if you select a three uh, I'm on then you can monitor your MBS system uh, because um, MBS doesn't really come with any uh, built-in monitoring which is kind of surprising you would think that in the last 40 years IBM had time to develop a halfway usable monitoring tool uh, given the price of the of these operating systems and given the profits they made um, with the mainframe division over the last 40 years but uh, they didn't and so uh, some great uh, developers and great coders such as Greg Price, this is his website, um, uh, have created very very um, capable monitoring uh, tools, um, you know we all know this one. Now the good thing about um, this monitor, monitoring software Imon is that it runs on MVS um, in 24-bit in and in 31-bit mode. So it can be installed pretty much on anything. And so some people were surprised that I had it running on uh, on uh, my front friend Bob's uh, ZOS instance here that he's graciously giving me access to for a few days. Uh, thank you, Bob. Um, and um, and so they asked, how, how can I install it? And so uh, it's very easy. You go to this website. I'll put the link in the description below this video that you're watching right now. And, and then you go to the Imon section and you download the zip file um, with, uh, with the transmit packages. I already did that, I have it here. Um, and, and then the, the installation is really simple. Um, what we have to do is first we have to allocate space for the two XMI packages. Uh, you may remember that these are um, transmit uh, packages. In fact, uh, let me do something here. Um, yeah, why don't I show you? Um, we have in my uh, repository on GitHub, uh, github.com, you have in this Moshix repository, there's a tool called um, Receive 390. And it's a tool um, that allows us to inspect um, the contents of a transmit package. So why don't we do that? Let me first download this thing here, copy link address. Uh, um, um, uh, well, let me just uh, make the I'm on. And then we do this download it, uh, unzip Imon, okay, and now um, let's get, do we have the repository installed, MVS, I think we do, and then we can copy receive into uh, Imon, okay, then we go to Imon, and change mode receive and now we can do receive and execute this command and see what's inside the package before we have to install it and we can see that all that there is inside is a couple of members that need to be extracted and put in uh, somewhere and um, and it's very small 42 kilobytes and let's do the other one Um, I'm on load and this one seems to have binaries in it so it's pre-compiled already you can see it from um, yeah these are load modules so this is already pre-compiled and block size okay data sets and user node from user G price and node G1 Okay, this was compiled last year in February. So now we know what's inside. Um, and so uh, we're done with this for now. 
and um, so we need to prepare to receive this to transmit files. They're not very big. The one is 490 kilobytes, the other is 42. So why don't we go and go to allocate this data set um, and we'll do it like this. Uh, Moshix, I'm on CNTL. Um, XMI and V. So one needs to be just one megabyte is enough. Um, directory blocks zero because we're going to make this a um, a, um, a, a, a a sequential file, and uh, and then we put in nothing and it becomes a sequential file. Fixed block eighty. Um, 80 uh, bytes length that's allocated and then we'll do the other one called load because there is two as you can see here um, and this one is a little bigger 490 kilobytes so let's just do i don't know what the blocking factor is but um, okay so this two have been allocated now we just have to upload this two uh, transmit packages into those uh, data sets how do we do that um, Oops. We do a file transfer, send to host, and we need to um, go to what is it called? Imon. Okay. And we do the first one, Imon CNTL, and we put it into Moshix, Imon CNTL XMI. And we do this as binary. This is very important, folks. Uh, this is not ASCII. This is all inside here. This is all EBCDIC. Um, so we have to transfer as binary. And this should be fast. And then we'll transfer the second one, send to host. Uh, I am an, I'm on load. And so we have to change here to load. takes a little longer because it's half a megabyte and I'm connected over the internet uh, I don't even know where this machine is that Bob is letting me access probably somewhere here in the US all right so uh, this is done we can go back into ISPF uh, and if I go into if I do Moshix I should see it here yeah browse yeah this seems to have arrived fine and now we just have to receive them. And in um, in uh, ZOS, there is a receive command. So it's called receive in data set. And then we say Moshix, I am on CNTL XMI. And we'll just press enter to this. And that's it. And then receive in data set Moshix, I am on load XMI same okay this is by the way folks this is how <laughs> every mainframe software should be installable right and by the way when I um, complained about the Pascal installation procedure um, by this very nice gentleman burned up also where you know, the one the chap who's redoing the Stanford compiler this is how it should be. Just one or two such packages, install it all in the right place, and that's the end of it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing this for him when he releases the new December version of the Stanford compiler. So let's go back again to 3.4, and we should now see here I'm on load. If we go in here, we can just say call. That's how I do it. There's other ways to call it, obviously. Um, and here we are. <laughs> There's really nothing special to. And so now is a good time to stop uh, recording and uh, so for any questions please uh, post something, uh, comment under this video. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to the Boshix Mainframe channel to get updated on future video releases and uh, please uh, press on the thumbs up button below the video if you like this particular video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.